Have you ever watched a pro player and wondered, how do they get so many darn arena points so fast? Yes, I use the word darn, one of my favorite words. We're only a few days into Fortnite Chapter 2 and pros already nearing Champions League. We understand how annoying and difficult it can be to just try and reach champs, and we're here to help you out. That's right. So, you can reach Champions League not only faster, but also make it in a learning experience to help you improve at the game. What's going on, guys? This is the Motivation Guy. That's right, your friend, the one and only Keith Allen. Make sure to follow me on my Instagram because I'm posting up videos to inspire you guys to be the best that you can be, not only in this game, but also in life. I am your number one fan. I'm rooting for you, cheering for you. Let's do this. But before we get into this video, I'd like to ask you a favor. Show your love for Pro Guys by hitting that like button. It only takes a few seconds. It doesn't really take a long time, so come on, you can do it. And it really helps us to continue producing these videos every single day to help you improve at Fortnite. Your support helps us create more videos, and more videos will help you become better at Fortnite. I guess we're all winning here. This is amazing. Also, we noticed that most of you haven't checked out our website, and let me tell you, you're missing out. We've added all new analysis videos, training articles, brand new up-to-date courses, and 24-7 on-demand coaching. So click that link and give it a look. Anyways, it's time to get this started, so sit back, relax, and grab my favorite candy, that bunch of crunch, and let's get this going. The improvement mindset, guys, is one of the main reasons that top players are as good as they are. The improvement mindset basically consists of, instead of getting angry and blaming it on the game when you lose, all right, and breaking stuff and getting angry and mad, looking back and seeing how you can improve and avoid it the next time. This improvement mindset is easily the main reason like pros such as Booga, Tifu, and Clicks are so consistently dominant. Instead of getting mad and blaming RNG, game mechanics, their opponents being a sweaty soccer skin who cranks 90s to height limit, like most of my opponents are, or anything else like that, they look back at their gameplay and they try to see which mistakes they made that resulted in their loss. You know, at this point, you're probably wondering, well, how do I actually put this into play? You're telling me to review my games, look for flaws in my gameplay, and focus on improving, but how can I actually make this into reality? Well, luckily, we're here, and the motivation guy is here to help you out with that. The best way to get the improvement mindset into your head is to forget about playing for the win. Scratch that out of your head. I mean, I'm not saying like literally scratch that out of your head and that may look bloody and scary. Don't do that. You're not trying to win anymore, guys. You're trying to improve, all right? Think of every death and even every kill as a learning opportunity. There's no such thing as a perfect fight. I've been telling you guys on my Insta that you just have to get better. You have to enjoy the journey and the process. In every single game you play, I guarantee that you can find at least one flaw, even if it's a 50 kill dub. The second tip is to review every single game, even in creative. Yep, you heard me. Review your pub games, review your arena games, review your 1v1s, review your zone wars, review everything. And while you review, focus on finding any errors possible. Once you spot the error, try to take some time to improve on it, all right? If you messed up an edit, practice it in creative. If you lost because you stayed on low ground, well, focus on trying to hold height during your fights when possible. If you forgot to check the storm and die because you left too late, focus on checking the storm every game. Once you've done this enough, your game sense will improve tremendously, and now you are enjoying the journey. How do you feel? You feel better, right? When you think of arena, what comes to your mind? When most people think of arena, they immediately think of box fights. In the past few seasons, the meta has taken a giant turn, and almost every single one of the best players in the world is an amazing box fighter. One great example is, for sure, Booga. With fast builds, quick edits, and the brains to outsmart anybody, he's the perfect box fighter, man. And that is one of the main things you can attribute to his $3 million World Cup win. I mean, just watching the box fight makes me so happy that I've never run into him in-game. The reason why box fighting is so important in this meta is because people love to box up. Box fighting is basically any engagement where you and your opponent are in boxes with one or two tiles of one another and you're fighting. You might have already realized this is basically 95% of engagements you're gonna run into in arena. That's why it's so crucial to practice box fighting. All right, so I'm sure you get the point as to why box fighting is so important, but how do you practice it? First, you wanna get a friend in your creative match to practice with and do this. Build one ramp up and set up a three by three area of floors. One of you will box up in the middle tile and the other person will push the box. Then you simply fight it out in close range. Once the fight is over, you alternate and the other person pushes the box. Repeat this, guys, as much as you want. When it comes to box fights, it is so important to not only practice them, but to practice them often, okay? Box fighting is easily one of the most important skills to have in this game, and it's a skill that can easily be weakened with just a few days off. I recommend spending at least 20 to 30 minutes a day practicing box fights. They're super important and will definitely make you better. 
in arena, the players are going to be a lot better than your run-of-the-mill pub player, obviously, right? The people in arena are serious about the game and most likely have the same goal as you do to progress to Champions League. Mm-hmm. The majority of players fail to realize this and just W key like their mongrel somebody trying to drop a 30 bomb. Sorry to tell you, that's just not realistic in arena. In arena, you basically have to play passive. The players in arena are like hungry bears looking for people to eat. But instead of eating things, they just third party. There's no way you can just realistically W key and go for kills until later on in the game. So don't even try to unless you like having half the lobby on your trail. Trust me, I've been in that situation and it ain't fun. The best way to survive an arena is to land at a secluded, quiet spot, loot as much as you can while grabbing a bunch of materials and base up when the second or third zone comes in. If you survive the early and mid game, you're basically guaranteed points and then it's nowhere but up from there. The overall verdict of this tip is to play passive and save your aggression for late game. Arena players are so hungry for third party kills, so even if you play the fight perfectly, you'll have to fend off a few more people and just hope that you survive. It's not worth the risk, trust me. Plus, placement points are absolutely killer, yo. You get the same amount of points for top 25 and solos as you do for three kills. It'll take nine kills to match the amount of points you get for a win. Just play passive and let the points come to you. If there's one more thing that separates me and you from the top players, ladies and gentlemen, it's our aim. Players like Mongo have such crazy good aim, you sometimes wonder if they have like some sort of like magic ability or even aimbot. It sure looks like it sometimes. I mean, I'm not hating on them, but dang. Good aim is especially important in arena matches because, well, it's one of the main skill gaps among top players. If Buga had the aim of an average player, you, you know, regardless of how smart he is, his insane building, his box fights, he never have a chance to win the World Cup. Good aim is often the difference between life and death in this game. And that's why it's so crucial to practice it. So, the best way to practice your aim is either through Kovacs, FPS, Aim Trainer, or by using creative maps. So, let's take a look at both. The ultimate aim trainer that most mouse and keyboard pros use is called Kovacs. Kovacs features hundreds of unique scenarios where you can practice your aim. A few of the most popular include Ascendant Tracking V3, Tau Frenzy, Tau Frenzy Mini, Thin Aiming Long, and Pressure Aiming. However, as great as Kovacs can be, there are two downsides to it. All right, so first off, it costs $10 to actually get it. So if you broke, sorry. <laughs> now I'm just playing. It is a little inconvenient if you don't have money. But the second downside to it is that there is currently no support for controller on Kovacs, which means that controller players have no use for it. So if you can't get Kovacs, here's another option that is good for you guys, okay? Another option for aim training is to use creative maps. A lot of great creative maps have been developed since the release of Creative, and some people argue that certain maps are even better than Kovacs. The map that we recommend is the Fortnite Aim Facility by Selage. It features four shotgun flick sections, three tracking sections, and three edit aim sections. So if you're looking for a good aim map with a bunch of different features, then give this a shot. Here's the code so you can give it a try. 8879-2132-8370. Our fifth and final tip is to learn the map. With the brand new map introduced in chapter two, oh my goodness, it's more important than ever to learn your surroundings and figure out the best ways to rotate, like where to land, where certain things are located and all of that. Unfortunately, there is no super fast way to learn the map other than by just simply playing the game, guys, and, and just learning as you go. Play as much as you can and focus on remembering where important things are. For example, try to learn where mobility spawns, find some different loot paths, learn the chest spawns for your drop spot and anything else you can think of. Having knowledge of the map and your surroundings is going to be one of the biggest skill gaps in the first season or two of this chapter because everyone's going to be adjusting. Get ahead of the curve right now on learning about what's around you and you're going to be ahead of the game, guys. Overall, Arena is a very difficult game mode to learn and get good at. It requires fighting really good players, playing smart, and knowing what's around you. If you follow the five steps of implementing the improvement mindset, practice your box fighting, playing passive early, working on your aim, and just learning your surroundings in the new map, you're going to be way ahead and be on the fast track to Champions League. One last piece of advice we have for you is to enjoy this game while you're grinding for champs. You know, have fun. Playing Fortnite can be frustrating. I know, trust me. It's never a bad idea to take a short break or just get off for the night if you're not feeling it. Remember that this process should be enjoyable. I want you to enjoy the journey. Stop beating yourself up. Stop putting yourself down. Know that you're a champ. Every champ has to grind it out. Every champ has to learn how to fall down and get back up. Forcing yourself to play when you're not having a, a good time is going to do nothing for you. <laughs> just make you angry. Just go down in flames. But keep practicing. Keep working on your grind, man. And I'm telling you, you're going to hit champs eventually. I want you to say it out loud. I'm going to hit champs eventually. 
Be patient, however, because it's a long process. Like, like I just said, it's not easy. Once again, it's the motivation guy, your friend, the one and only Keith Allen. And make sure to connect with me as soon as you can because I'm posting up vids on my Instagram to inspire you guys to be the best, not only in this game, but also in life. I'm rooting for you. I'm cheering for you. And I want to bring all the positivity and, and just, just shower it on you because you deserve it. We really hope you enjoyed this video and that it helps you not only reach champs, but improve while doing it. Let us know in the comments what you'd like to see on the channel next. Also, smash that like button to support us and subscribe if you'd like to see more tips, tricks, and pro player analysis videos. Thanks for watching.